Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are diving into C1, which is an open source offline first tool that is designed for personal knowledge management. So if you are someone who loves taking notes, organizing your ideas and building your second brain, this tool might just become your new favorite. While there are many PKM apps out there like the Obsidian, uh, Logsec and Notion, C1 offers something different here. So here C1 uh, provides the built-in database functions, clean block-based writing and full privacy since everything is stored locally. So in this video, I will guide you step by step on how to use C1 effectively for managing your personal knowledge. We will go through the setup, the workspace, note creation, linking the ideas and even how to style and export your content so whether you are a student a researcher a writer or just someone who wants better control over your thoughts this tutorial is for you now without further delay let's get straight into it now first of all you will have to click on the link that is given in the page and then you will be landed on this b3log.org page over here click on the free download to use option and you can just download the downloader from microsoft store or you can even click on this download upgrade option and you can directly download the setup so here you can also open your microsoft store and search for c1 then from here as well you can download and install its launcher now once it is installed successfully you just have to simply launch it and it is completely offline and saves all the data to your local machine you don't need any internet connection which is perfect for privacy and focus now this will be your dashboard where uh, you will see how you can get started with this tool now over here you will be able to see a bunch of different options so do not get overwhelmed for it because we are going to be taking a look at this one by one so here you can create your workspace and this is where all of your notes and the data will be stored so first of all we need to understand the interface so the layout is quite simple and distraction free on the left hand section you will see notebooks the pages option backlinks option and uh, outline view at the center uh, here you will see your main editor which is block based just like notion or rom every paragraph heading list item or the image is its own block so you can move or link the blocks freely there is also a slash command that you can use that lets you insert the things like table, checklists, code blocks, math equations, etc. So to start taking the notes to create a new note, you need to go to the notebook section or you can just click on this plus icon in the top. Over here, you can give your document a name. So this is our new page. So we can just give it a name as new page. So after giving the name, you can start typing uh, as a normal document over here. You can use the hash command for headings and uh, you can use the star command for making your text bold or you can even use the formatting buttons in the toolbar. You can nest the content under each other by dragging the blocks perfect for outlining your thoughts. Here's a pro tip, uh, you can use the double brackets to actually link the notes together like a personal wiki. You can also use the backlinks and the graph view over here. So one of the most powerful features of C1 is its bi-directional linking. So let's say you create a note that is called new page or we can just change the name. So let's say it is productivity techniques and you link it inside the morning routine so c1 will automatically show the backlink in the first note so everyone stays connected now you can open the graph view to see your notes uh, relate uh, visually and this is great for mind mapping and uh, research and just exploring your ideas uh, it helps you discover the hidden connections between the notes and uh, that you didn't expect you can also customize uh, and organize your notes you can just group the notes using the folders or the tags you just have to simply type the hashtag in your content or you can use the sidebar to manage them over here in the settings you can basically change the theme of your page uh, you can adjust the font and the spacing you can enable syncing with the external storage 
so if you want to reuse a template just copy a block and uh, you need to turn it into a template block and you, uh, you need to reuse it to uh, across the nodes you can also embed one block into another which keeps your info consistent without any duplication now if you want to export any backup you uh, also do it very easily uh, for that you will see the export option over here so this is the insert option here you will see the export option here so you can export it in the form of the markdown.md format or pdf or the doc format so this is perfect if you want to move the notes into another app publish them online or back them up externally so since everything is stored locally you can control of all of your data no cloud syncing requires unless you choose it so that's it now you know how you can use c1 for personal knowledge management from setup to linking your ideas or organizing your notes so if this video helped you out consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video thanks for watching